Hey everybody, um, this is part two of making a trade card. That's two for making a trading card. And uh, if you haven't watched part one yet, definitely check that out first so you can see how to get started. Hopefully this will get you uh, to a really cool custom trading card. All right, let's see how to do it. Okay, so where we left off, we were just adjusting the text and stuff. And you can always go back and add more or change it but I want to show you how to crop your photo. So uh, one way to do it is to double click on the image and then this black border comes up. Then you can grab onto this, the handles and just what's happening is I'm cutting out parts of the photo. It just makes it look a little bit nicer and it also makes it so I can make it bigger. I can fit it into this space. So then it looks a little bit more like one of those trading cards from, you know, like baseball or basketball trading card or whatever. All right, so that's cool. But you can also, it says you can add borders. So I'm going to change the border weight to 12. Ooh, that's nice. I'm going to use my arrows to make it a little bit lower. And then I'm going to change the color of that border to this reddish color. Oh, that's nice. Then I'm going to do this thing called Format Options, where I'll put a drop shadow on there. So it looks like it's really cool. And the last part, it says uh, there's another way you can crop. If I click on it, this tool will become activated. And if I choose a little arrow, I can crop it to a shape. And I think I just want a really cool, or just to have round corners. That's what it's going to have. So click on that, and now it's got round corners. Great. So the last thing is that I can add stickers. So I already have one sticker that's just over to the side. I'm going to pull in this. Uh-oh, I need to bring that to the front. So I'm going to do arrange, and then order that. Oops, to the front. So now my Anne Watton Phoenix sticker is there, and it looks really cool. The other way you can do stickers is by inserting more images. So maybe I'm going to do insert, image, and this time instead of camera, I'm going to search the web. Since this is a design class, I think I'm going to choose, uh, and we're outdoors, I'm going to do a tree. Tree. I'm going to type in the word transparent. So if it has a transparent background, and I put that tree in there, and drag it in. Now it won't have a white background where it would like really cover up my uh, face and all this stuff. It can just sit right on top of there. So that is uh, how I could add a sticker. Then on the second, this is like the back of the card. It has all about me. And I need to think of some things to say. Um, I love being outside, period. I have a wife and three boys. And one more. Um, I am a teacher. I don't know. I just those off the top of my head but i'm going to fill in these three sections and then i can do the adjustments the colors all that same stuff background customize with stickers to make it a really cool card all right everybody uh do the best you can help each other out and of course i'll be here too but ask your neighbors for help and look at these videos they will guide you along all right see you later have a great time